I'm Melissa Lewis, and this is my son, Attila Esha, and this is Anastasia Esha. Hey, I'm Cameron Vinson. I'm Brittany Vinson, and this is Winry and Saris. My name is Shayla Garcia. Uh, this is my daughter, Liliana, and this is Samantha. <laughs> I'm Stephanie Melton. I'm Philip Melton. I'm uh, Julia Melton, Sebastian Melton. This is James Elliot Melton. I'm Megan. And I'm Ava. I'm Kendall. And I'm Marcus. And we're the Dickinson family. Hi, my name is Amy Calvert. My son is Landon Calvert. He is four years old. And we have been coming to South Point since November of 2022. We like South Point because it always felt like an extended family for us. We've been coming here for many years and the girls always love attending service and meeting new people and surrounded by positivity. We want James to be dedicated um, because as we are parents that are trying to do our best every day, uh, the truth is we're humans and um, we will have flaws and we will mess up and we believe that by dedicating our kids and that when God has them in their hands, whatever flaws we have, he'll pick up and he'll fix whatever needs to be fixed. I think it's just affirming uh, that uh, we want her to be um, raised alongside people of faith, people of our faith, and, um, and just having the support of the church to help us out with that. I, I really want them to have that foundation um, to turn back to, like no matter what they face in life, like they know that God's got them. I grew up in a household that didn't really look to God that much. Uh, so when my older brother got into it, I silently just like watched and listened to him. And whenever I was scared, whenever I was little, I always felt like I couldn't talk to anybody. So I always talked to God. And I want to make sure that the girl, my girls know that they always have God, even when they don't feel like they have anybody here. I hope God finds a way to communicate with James. And I find that everyone has their own way of communicating with God and to know that he's talking to us and that the Spirit is speaking to us. And so I just pray that he's confident that when God speaks to him, he knows it's his voice and that he knows he's being guided. Um, by the Holy Spirit and that he can trust in prayer and that he believes in Jesus. I hope that uh, he surrounds my son with just genuine love when he needs it the most. Um, he definitely hasn't been dealt uh, the easiest cards just because of um, having health conditions and things of like that and being able to have somebody in your corner at all times is definitely what he's going to need in the future and um, having that um, beside him all the time is it makes me uh, a little bit more confident in the future and I know that he'll be able to just be surrounded by the goodness of God. I hope that she can have a relationship with him and she can turn to him whenever she needs him positive or negative. There's going to be all situations in life and she's going to need help along the way so yes. we want yes. that relationship it's very important to us.